Tesla has done it again, constantly evolving, constantly changing, and constantly surprising us. The rumors are true. A new Model S or a brand new Model X 2022 actually comes with a screen feature that allows it to go ahead and swivel or pivot. Check this out. You hit the car function button in the lower left hand corner and then right here in the middle it says display and three icons appear. One icon showing the screen to tilt towards the driver, one for it to go ahead and stay centered as it is now and one for it to tilt towards the passenger. Check this out. As you can see, the screen is now tilted towards me. I am a Model S owner. This is not my car. I think this is pretty cool. I mean, it, it's so much more like as if I'm a pilot, right? Because I've got my yoke steering wheel and now the screen is all in my zone. Very interesting. Might need some getting used to, but I think it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and move it back to the center for a quick comparison. So I've been used to this. I've owned Teslas for many years. You know, the screen never moved. It was always an extra large screen. And this is a very good perspective. But you know what? I actually think it's much cooler when it's facing towards the driver. Now, let's move it towards the passenger and see what that does. So I was thinking this morning before doing this video, why would Tesla want to give us the opportunity to have the screen swivel towards the passenger? And the one thing that came to my mind is, you know, sometimes when I'm out driving with my wife or with a friend in the front seat, I want them to handle the music selection or do certain controls on the car. And you know what? If the screen swivels towards the passenger seat, it's gonna make that experience so much easier and also a little bit more personal. And I get that because I feel the same when the screen is swiveled towards the driver. Again, it gives me that kind of like aircraft feel. Um, I think it's really cool. What are your comments? What are your thoughts? Do you think that this is a really good feature? Is it necessary? Is it not necessary? And then here's the really big question to Tesla. For those of us that have a late 2021 or early 2022 Model S or X, refresh will this be able to be retrofitted i'd like to have it in my car and i sure hope that tesla will either give me that option for free which is always nice but honestly i'd actually pay for it because i think it's really cool